bucks is rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my extended beautiful family. Just uh, thank you for sharing and supporting the channel, um, being able to you know just basically to connect with new people almost every day is truly a beautiful thing to me um it is just like a lot of us are going through different spiritual awakenings where it makes you feel beautiful it, it's a beautiful blessing to actually know that you're not alone dealing with a lot of things because a lot of times we can be very stressed out <laughs> you're like i'm doing this on my own i'm all by myself nobody understands and then poof you find out that people can basically resonate with the, the trials and tribulations that are associated with your life as well as in theirs so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while i have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video also if you're comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know moi even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of the video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction also, if you know you find the video very informative or just give you good vibes, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some trying times at the moment, um, and they need spiritual spiritual guidance or need confirmation or validation towards their life path or soul purpose, please go ahead and share. While you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you once again for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, I had to put my phone on the charger y'all uh my video that i'm listening to in the background is called 852 hertz awakening inner strength boost positive energy to dissolve negative energy binary beats i will post that link in the description box below and my video today is twin flame 101 sometimes the universe will allow us to connect with others to see the things we need to change or pay attention to there is so many people we connect with every day on a normal basis you know there's a lot of times that we can go through things in life and not pay attention to what we're doing some things could be very good and some things could be very unhealthy for us you know if we stay in that negative mindset you know about the things that goes on in our life it can keep us keep us stuck in a certain situation far longer than we need to be you know even though everything is at divine timing you know you'll get the signs and stuff like that you know especially with me i always look at different numbers that you know appear in my life that mirror each other like right now as soon as i said that was 252 so there's you know anytime i you know i feel like there's something that angels are already trying to communicate with us or they'll allow us to connect to other people you know like i told y'all before it's like um I forgot what what video it was but it's just like either the things that you know we'll, we'll meet people either either to help guide us towards the next chapter or some things that we need to pay attention to and that's always you know it's a beautiful thing i don't think it's like to punish us when it's coming to things that we need to pay attention to it's just like basically it's like if you are on the verge of to that point where you're just you know loading yourself with a lot of anger a lot of pain you know it's just like a lot of situations it was like uh with me like me and my 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 ex relationship you know i used to talk about it all the time you know and it was just like you know even though it was like i felt like it was therapeutic it's actually not therapeutic if you keep you know talking about the situations that at hand that you know certain situations that occurred in your life it's like anything is painful that you talk about even i've done it here on my on my videos with certain things that's happened in my life you know trying to use that as an example but you can be able to use an example without going into the full story because basically it's like you believe in that same situation over again that can you know bring up that pain all of it's coming over some people think that might be healthy and it's actually not you know and it's just like you know there could be people you connect with that are, you know, they need, you, you might be, you know, venting towards them and they're that one that helps you, you know, these are the certain situations you had to go through to get to where you are now or, you know, certain things that had to occur for you to be able to connect with and you might need somebody to vent to that day and they might be that positive reminder of you, you know, hey, you know, you're really, you know, things are really changing for you, you just have to have faith in the certain situations and it's just like, with me, I'm very grateful for every situation I've been in, whether it, if it was for good or it was bad, and, you know, turned out to have certain things that happen, you know, 
because at one time we were engaged and you know there were some people that you know thought it was kind of funny want to joke about it like oh I know you're sad and depressed hell no I'm not <laughs> you know that was a blessing in disguise no I'm good you know and I'm okay about that you know I don't have any ill will towards my, my daughter's father or my ex whatever you want to call it you know I always feel like that situation even though it was very toxic it has taught me a lot an awful lot that's why I say I don't even I try not to even talk about that situation anymore because it's just like it is what it is you know we went through our certain situations and it gave me a lot of blessings to basically know what I want in a relationship know what I will accept and what I won't accept you know loving myself on all angles because it was like I was ignoring my happiness to try to make somebody else happy because there were certain situations that it was in that relationship I was not really happy at all and it's just like I even tell him somehow you looking at me are you okay are you feeling all right like boy if you don't shut up you know and I feel good because the fact is I went through this and I found me you know I was able to find the real me because I want to be happy if I'm going to be in a relationship there's no part that I would not want my partner to be happy but I also want to be happy as well as myself you never want to get lost on trying to please somebody when you're you're not happy you know what I'm saying because if there you know there's things you're bringing to the forefront saying hey you know I don't like these things that are going on this makes me feel this that and the third and it's not be, being fixed that's when you know you need to part ways you know and those are the things that you know there were so many red flags that I was dealing with you know people that he was connecting with was dealing with the same thing because it's like we go into relationships and things happen you know um, I remember I was looking at a video that Jay Sheedy put up you know a lot of times when you have person people that cheat on you or whatever it's not you know even though you might think it's okay and you, you're breaking their heart and you find out that you've been cheating this time it's like okay you, you're gonna have that person thinking there's something wrong with them and it's actually you know you, you weren't getting enough attention or it's like sexual needs or anything like that you know that will have them questioning their self you know looking like they're you know they're flawed or you know there's something wrong with them maybe yeah, there was something that I did you know it's just like all those different things come into your life but also it's just like I'm glad I can use myself an example you know anytime somebody's going through a toxic relationship don't say that you never wish that you never met them or you know they put you through a lot of hell you have to be understand those that's what you picked at the time you know you probably seen the red flags you can't get mad at nobody because you've seen the red flags you chose to stay there so it's just a lot of times when I see my situation I can be able to be happy about the situations I come in it's like anytime even when I'm on my group page you know I tell people you know you can be a narcissistic relationship that's the worst kind of relationship to be in because it's like control you know if you even bring you know trying to have a culture uh, what is it well adult to adult God, I can't say it right now cordial yeah that's the word <laughs> cordial you know um, conversation you know they're not gonna ever see fault in what they do so it's gonna end up turning into an argument you know what I'm saying so it's just like I'm glad I went through those situations because they allowed me to love myself have respect for myself to know what do I do want in a relationship and what I don't want in a relationship what I will put up with in my compromise or will I not but it's just the fact is that we both can't be happy and you no know, no cut the court but there are some people that come into your life that you could be wondering am I going down the right road am I you know am I doing the right things all these different signs they're showing you different signs on if you're going down the right path or if you do go down that path because I always tell people if you're in a tragic really well tragic or toxic relationship don't always you know you can be a, and I didn't even realize I was doing it you can be an energy vampire putting all that load on somebody else like this is what I'm going through this is what that person did this is this this is that this is that okay this the person that you you're loading this down on they can't do nothing about your relationship you can either choose to leave or stay now if you're in a situation like me and you're dealing with a karmic cycle there's things you have to be able to do you have to be able to forgive that person that's done all these crazy things to you yes it can be very hurtful you know it's like but well, Rosalind you don't know what they did no I don't I, I don't need to know <laughs> you know but it's just the whole point you know a lot of times when we're stuck in situations like that there's a lesson to be learned in that situation you have to be able to forgive all you know all measures because it's like even though it's directed towards you with the things that they're doing it's nothing personal
you know, and it's hard to be able to say that when you're human form, you know, it's, you should never take it personal. It's like, well, Rosalind, it was directed at me. Yes, but there's something inconsistent about them. It's not, doesn't have anything to do with you because it's like, they, if they did it to you, they're doing it to other people too, you know? So it's not something that has something to do with you is with the person inside, how they feel like they're inside, you know? And then you have to understand if you never did anything in that relationship, like to cause them to cheat, they just cheated their self out on a good thing and that's exactly what Jay Shitty said it's like you had a diamond and you dropped that diamond especially if you had someone who was there for you you were faithful at the time and all this and this and that you don't drop the diamond to get rock that's all you know don't ever feel at fault when things happen like that especially if you you know you try to lay everything on the line talk it out and stuff like that but as well as you know when you doubt yourself like everything you're doing is to forefront you're forgiving you're trying to make your life as you know best as you can you're taking you know you're taking it with taking it for the team <laughs> those are the different things that you know people come into your life and let them know it's like don't you see all these beautiful gifts that are coming into your life you know there's a lot of things that are happening for you but you have to be able to have that faith in yourself you know when you're going through certain situations and people connect with you it's just like you're my you might don't even know it but you're heading to that next chapter and people you're connecting with are on that level with you or they might need guidance themselves and you went to ask for me there's a lot of blessings that I'm getting whether when it comes to people because there's a lot of times I don't went through certain things because that was the fear I have like what if I, what if somebody comes up to me and asks me a question and I don't know how to answer that but thank God God has always put people in my path they are you know on that road to self-discovery trying to understand their empath you know gift or trying to understand what their gift is you know for you know all these different things that people are connected with me with and it's like thank you god i can be able to help with this you know because i don't want to talk about the things that i fear because you don't want to bring that to your energy and it's just like a lot of things you have to be able to understand yeah it can be a hurtful situation but you if you're looking at it in a negative way you will never understand what blessings are coming towards you because it's just like I had to be able to look at it like that because when I started my, my when I first started my journey of this I already seen the red flags in my relationship it was very toxic I've been knowing for this mess for 20 some years but I was just like 20 some years where I was that's a long ass time to be dealing with somebody yes it was but it was just like I felt like my love for that person would have helped them change and I had to go through all that because see that's all I seen growing up is toxic stuff like that so that's what you know I end up attracting so it's just like with this situation I've even told my ex you don't know how much of a blessing you are to me because now somebody pulled this mess and we already know what red flags to look for and I'm getting the heck on you know I don't have time but it's like the situation I've been placed in has been such a blessing because I had to be able to see the things that I needed to see and it was just like with my situation I had to go through this with him then I had to go through this with my family about the mind about who my family was you know finding out all these different things about my family it was like I was dealing with everything at one time and then when I sit back and look I said that takes a, a very strong person not to just deal with grief but then you're dealing with grief and you're you know knowing that you have talked to your dad many of times and then on top of that now you're finding out your family has been the one has been deceitful about the whole situation this whole time and then you're dealing with an ex you know that you're you're seeing a lot of things that you really didn't want to see so I had to deal with all that at one time and I thought I was gonna lose my mind about that and I think I finally you know <laughs> that I did lose my mind but then when I can look at everything the way it was you know my dad was like uh my real dad you know when he came to me you know at a vision he was just like I don't think you're gonna be ready to hear all the things that you know has happened you know I don't think you're gonna be mentally ready for that I'm just he's like you sure you want to know and I'm like yeah I, I need to know I need to know the truth I'd rather be hurt with the truth instead of a lie you know I've been hurt with lies this whole time and thought it always had something to do with me even though the truth is it did have something to do with me but it's just the fact is my family you know what they want to so-called call themselves that is when I had the truth right there and I kept vocalizing the truth they tried to shut me down every time then for them to shut me down they had to wipe my memory you know you're playing with people's minds and stuff like that you know having to go to a therapist and you know having months and months and years and years of you know night terrors waking up in sweat screaming and hollering asking for a dad that you didn't even know about 
you know, and then they take you to a therapist, go up under hypnosis, and they're overhearing how to put people under hypnosis. So they're playing with my mind this whole time, going through all that different stuff, and then have all those memories come back to you at one time. Those were, it was very hurtful to have to go through. I'm just glad I don't have night terrors anymore. Um, it, it's just like my, my heart has been through enough. But I can actually say, that these were all blessings to me even though I didn't connect with my dad again it's just the fact it's a beautiful situation where I can just talk to him anytime I want but it, it was it was kind of it sucked a little bit to have to go through stuff like that but then I can actually see it as a blessing as well you know being able to find out who I was you know why did I have all these weird connections with my dad seeing all the past lives I've shared with him it's been very beautiful to me so it's just like even though he might be in a different form he's never left my side you know I can still be able to talk to my family that has passed on you know and it, there's been times that I was just like anybody who really cared about me is no longer physically here anymore how do I do this I don't think I'm strong enough to be able to handle all these different things why did I have to go through all these things and then being able to connect with a lot of people that I had to help along the way then it made sense to me why I had to go through the things I gone through because there's so many people trying to make sense of why they had to go through it or they're trying to understand will I be able to get through all these things yes you will you have to have faith in yourself and really step back without any emotions and understand the tragedies that has happened in your life tends to be blessings if you tend to look you know if you allow yourself to look at it in a positive viewpoint so a lot of people that you're connecting with will allow you to see things that you need to see about yourself to know that yes you have to go through these trials and errors you might have to be you know left alone you know there's people that you've probably been with for a long time that you're gonna have to separate from family separate from spouses and that's okay but you have learned a lot along the way about them about you as well you know giving you that courage that self-love self-respect as long as you know as well as the knowledge that you have about your gifts and about who you are and why you're here so allow yourself to be able to do that but know that even though there's situations you might be going through that can be very tragic can turn out to be your own special blessing so i hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video much love to everybody i hope you ha hope you have a blessed monday give a post notification shout out to let me see who am I going to be Zell much love to you and Jay Cartwright much love to you as well I will see you all on my next video uh, like and subscribe give me a thumbs up let me know if you resonate so I can go ahead and give you a post notification shout out on my video and you know I hope y'all have a blessed day know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can you never know your kind words can really take somebody a long way and I'll see you on my next video I love peace, be wild.